Tonight, the University of Miami football team begins fall practice with a highly anticipated season opener about a month away. Indeed, we're counting down for sure the Canes will kick off the college football season in Orlando against the Florida Gators. <laughs> CBS Sports Sports anchor Mike Cuno live at the U, where new head coach Manny Diaz has to be chomping at the bit, Mike, to get started, right? Yeah, it's all about the new Miami out here in Coral Gables. Manny Diaz showing up to parties on yachts. The, there's going to be a touchdown chain this year to, in addition to the turnover chain, plus all those hype videos they've been putting out all summer, all gearing up for that August 24th game against the Gators. Now, they have been putting out those hype videos the last couple of days to get fans excited. And you know what? They've responded all summer long, tonight included. A 1,000 free tickets were offered to the public to watch tonight's first practice. Those ran out very quickly. Tonight's practice not only open to them, but the media as well. For two hours, we're going to get a very good look at this team, including with that quarterback race. There'll be no hiding. By the end of tonight, we actually may get to see who has a leg up there between Nikosi Perry, Tate Martell, and Jaron Williams. Now, my, Manny Diaz, since taking the job, has really overhauled much of the coaching staff. He started with the offense, and now we're going to see some changes, see who's going to end up winning that quarterback battle. That's what is on everyone's mind tonight. So if you are coming out here to check out that new Miami, make sure you're here before 7 o'clock, 7 to 9 is when this practice is going down out here in Coral Gables, guys. He certainly has a marketing mind. I'll give him that, uh, Mike, talking about Manny Diaz. So coming out of spring ball, who is the leader in the quarterback derby? Well, from all the media sessions we were able to have at practice and from coaches around town I've talked to, high school coaches who get, who get to see some of these practices as well, it, it looks like Nikosi Perry still has a leg up on the job. Now, that's not to say that Tate Martell, you know, the guy who got here through the transfer portal from Ohio State, won't take it. He hasn't been here that long, but but now I think the race truly begins, and we've got about a month to go uh, before we find out who that starter is. Trying to see who the Kane starter will be. Same for the Dolphins. All right, Mike, thanks a lot. Enjoy the first yeah. practice tonight. Mike Cunha reporting from the U.